your neighbor a high five and you may be seated, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Have I told you lately how much I love you? <laughs> Look at you. It's, it's just amazing. I, I have to be very honest with you. I did not praise, I didn't sing that praise song. I looked around at y'all the whole time. I just, it just, I just, I'm, I'm so blessed. I pastor the greatest church in the entire world. You are the most amazing people on the planet. So it's just good to see you. Thank you, thank you. I promise you I'll worship in the next song with y'all, but I just had to, I just had to look around and just see all these people coming in and... God bless you today. I want to say a big hello to all of our campuses that are joining us, uh, all those that are, have iPads open uh, in the kitchen or wherever you are. And we have churches, hundreds of churches that are joining us. In fact, I got a text right as the, before the service started from a pastor friend of mine up in uh, Tennessee, Pastor Devin Webb at Connect Church. They're joining us. Would y'all put your hands together for everybody who's with us today. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. And I always take a little bit uh, more time in the beginning here, the first day, just to explain for those uh, who don't know our rhythm and our flow, but this is a one-hour prayer service. We'll actually try to end a little bit before um, that one hour so we can get you guys off to school and to work. And, um, and the format of it is, is that we always begin with some kind of praise song because the Bible says in Psalm 100, enter his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. So we start with just a, before we ask him for anything, let's go ahead and thank him for all he's done. Amen, everybody. And so we just thank God and worship God. And then whoever's leading uh, will come up and just take about eight to 10 minutes and focus us on prayer. Give us at least one scripture or one thought just to get us stir our faith stirred up because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So we know if we get a little bit of the word in us before we pray, it'll stir our faith and faith is what makes prayer work. And then we'll, uh, we'll sing another worship song just to get us tuned in to God. And then we'll turn you loose for about 25 minutes on your own. And then you just take your own prayer posture, whatever that is. If some people are pacers. There are people that'll make about 30 laps in that 25 minutes. And just if so, others will be kneeling, uh, others, just whatever your own prayer posture is. I do ask you to refrain from conversation and visiting. If you need to do that, go out in the hallways uh, so that we can all just focus. We will have music playing uh, so that we can all pray out loud and still have some kind of pri personal privacy. But I do recommend that you pray out loud. It's, it's easily, uh, God knows your thoughts, but it's, it's, it's for us. We get distracted so easy if we start thinking. And so I always just, I, I, my mouth will never stop for those 25 minutes. I'll just be worshiping and entering into the presence of God. And then we have prayer guides for you. We have our prayer guide that we wrote several years ago that gives you all the different models of prayer that I've learned over the years, and it's called Pray First. And then we have a brand new kids version of that, so it's all colorful like that. And then we have a couple other resources up here for you. We, we update this one every time. This one says the Alabama prayer guide. We would have one there for you in Georgia as well. But it just gives you the names of our, our, our politicians and, and those in uh, government and just all our campus pastors, our overseers, and just the people who lead our church and our cities and our world and our ministries. And so anyway, so you just take this as a guide. And then finally, and this is what I'm most excited about and I really highlighted uh, in, the, um, in the fall season, especially more, more so than in the January season, uh, but there's a little card it's blue on one side, white on the other. It's real small. It's, it's small so you can put it in your pocket or on your, on, in your bathroom or wherever you, so you can see it every day. And it has five little scriptures of how to pray for somebody who's far from God. And then on the other side, there are 10 places to put names. And we just love to focus on the harvest. Can I hear a good amen, everybody? It's just something happens in the fall, can't explain it. Uh, the natural harvest uh, that we have uh, in our world in the fall, just somehow there's a spiritual harvest that happens in the fall. And so we're going to pray for a lot of people to come to faith, a lot of people to be, be saved this fall. And everybody said a good amen. amen. I want to get us ready in the next couple of minutes for these 21 days. And I just have had this verse on my heart and I, for several weeks, and I knew I'd share it on the very first day. It's out of Hosea. You know I studied when I got y'all some Hosea, everybody, all right? <laughs> And it says this in chapter 10, verse 12, sow for yourselves righteousness. Now, what does that mean? I mean, God's my righteousness, yes. But the Bible says you can, you can do some, some work in your own heart 
by sowing for yourselves righteousness and you'll reap steadfast love. I love this next line, break up your fallow ground. And that means every place where something's gotten in your heart, every hard place. This is a farming metaphor that wherever there's been some hardness, some, some place in your heart that's just not right, break it up, and I'm gonna show you how in just a second, for it is time to seek the Lord, amen, that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. And righteousness isn't just upon us, but he'll make things right in our world. And that's what I'm praying for. I think our world needs revival. I think we need a mighty revival of God. I, I mean, I know that's cliche, but I think we need a mighty revival of God. Amen, everybody? I really do. I think our nation, and I think we're poised for it, honestly. And you say, well, Chris, how do you break up that heart ground? Well, let's go to what Jesus said, and I got to go really quickly because you didn't come to hear me talk. You came to pray. But in Luke chapter 8, y'all know the story. You probably know the story of Jesus telling this parable about seed falling on different types of ground. And, and that's our thought for the day. And in verse 5, it says, A farmer went out to sow his seed, and as he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and it was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up with it and choked the plants, and still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop, and we're talking about a harvest, right? It yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. And it gives us really four heart conditions. And the first one, he, Jesus explains it. Those, verse 12, along the path are the ones who hear. And then the devil comes and takes away the word from the hearts so they may not believe and be saved. And I call that first the polluted heart, the one the devil has gotten into. And I want all of us to ask today this simple prayer, Lord, is my heart polluted anywhere? I mean, have I allowed anything inside of me, in my mind? in my actions, and it'll come in two forms, either something you did to yourself or allowed to be done to yourself, like sin, or something somebody else has done to you, like wounds or hurts, but the polluted heart. God, I'm asking you today, I feel the anointing of God right here in this place, that God, that you're gonna break up my polluted heart. Every place where I've allowed something inside of my life, and then verse 13, the rocky soil represents those who hear the message with joy, but like young plants in such soil, soil, their roots don't go very deep. They believe for a while, but they wilt when the hot winds of testing blow. I call that the distracted heart. I'm just, I just been thinking of something. I don't, not, I'm not, it's not that I don't love God. I've just been thinking about other things. And so I really haven't had God on my mind. And I'm gonna get, for 21 days, I'm gonna give God most of the real estate of my mind and my heart. Come on, say a good amen right there. That's why we're here, right? We're here for 21 days, not for the second day. We're here for the 21 days because I've been distracted. I've been distracted with, with summer, I've been distracted. And honestly, right after this, we'll get that major southern distraction called football. Come on, everybody, right? That I love, but, but we got to have our hearts mainly focused on God. Verse 14, then seed fell among weeds which stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches, pleasures. And I love this last line, and they don't mature. And that's the immature heart. And that's for the person who says, God, my heart's just fine. I'm not distracted and I'm not, not, not polluted, but I'm stagnant. I'm in the same place I've been for 10 years with God. And this is going to be my year where I grow. I'm going to take steps, and I'm going to step into all that God has for me. Come on, say amen right there, everybody. It's, I'm not going to be immature anymore. My heart, God's challenging my heart, maybe to leadership, maybe to get involved, maybe just lead a small group. I don't know, but I'm going to, I'm going to allow God to work on my heart because I'm, just, I'm not staying here another year. And then finally, verse 15, but seed that fell on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by, preserve, and by preserving produce a crop. And of course, that's the prepared heart, the one that produces fruit. And that's what we want. We're praying for that. Well, how do you get there? I'm, is I'm done. How do you get there? One word takes care of all of those. And it's so kind of offensive, and it's so powerful at the same time. And it's the word repent. Just repent. And the word repent is not... 
is, is not, a, it's not a ugly term. The term means I was headed this direction and now I'm gonna head this direction. Maybe in my polluted heart, my distracted heart, my, my immature heart, or my, to get my heart prepared. I'm just gonna, I gotta change some things and I need the Holy Spirit to show me what that is. And I wanted to put on the screen, I, I thought, I actually, this was a last minute ad right before, uh, I, so I, I don't even have it in my notes because I, I told the guys in the room, said, put this up there at the very end, show it for me. Acts chapter three, verse 19. Re let's read it aloud, every campus, come on, every church, every voice, the whole thing, here we go. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. That's what we want. We want times of refreshing in the presence of Almighty God. And that's not just a refreshing for me, that's a refreshing for our nation. Come on, our church needs a refreshing. Our families need a refreshing. How many would you like that God would visit us in these 21 days in a mighty way? Amen, everybody. Are you ready for it? Come on, stand up on your feet, everybody. And lift up those hands and just begin to worship Almighty God. Come on, close your eyes. Come on, man, begin to play behind me. Just lift up your hands and honor him and adore him and worship him, Lord God. We bless your mighty name. You're a holy God, and we praise you today. Holy Spirit, show us any place in our lives that needs to change. God, expose our hearts today. And God, today we break up that fallow ground. Lord, we're asking you, Lord God, to change us. Do a work inside of us. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship you. Come on, let's worship together.
at a quarter till. Go for it. When I think of your goodness, oh, I sing for joy and I speak the name. I thank you, Jesus. In the evening when the night is The passion of our Savior.
could sing these songs as I often do, but every song must end, and you I've got one response. I've got just one move. With my arms stretched wide, I will worship you. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all Exactly. 
sacrifice. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We honor you, God. You're an amazing God. Come on, let's sing it again. I'll throw up my hands. Every voice. So I'll throw up. you're our sanctifier God you're our healer you're our deliverer Lord God we thank you father that you're our banner of victory over the enemy you're our provider you're my peace God we worship you we honor you Jesus we worship you Lord God oh worship him just sing your own song to the Lord right now oh God I praise your name Lord worship you Lord times of refreshing in the presence of God Come on, let's begin to intercede right now. Father, we pray, Lord, for revival in America. God, we beat back the forces of darkness right now. Every demonic principality that has taken over our nation and our land, God, we're asking you, Lord God, for revival. Let it begin with the house of God. Lord, we pray for the church, God, to rise up. God, let a fire come inside of the church of Almighty God. Father, I pray for pastors and leaders, Lord God. You're strengthening them, Lord God. We pray for a mighty move of the Holy Spirit, signs and wonders, miracles, healing, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you'll confirm your word with the signs that accompany it, Lord God. Father, we seek your face, Lord. God, we're crying out, Lord God, for souls to be saved, God. Lord, I'm asking you for a mighty, mighty harvest of souls in Jesus' name. Come on, say somebody's name up to God that needs Jesus. Lord, we lift up our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, our classmates, God. God, those that are closest to us, God. God, those in our sphere of influence. God, we're asking you, Lord, that you would break the, the God of this age that has blinded their minds, that you'd break it off their lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, God, so that they just see it for the first time. Lord, we lose the spirit of adoption across our land, God, where they can cry out, I'm a father, in relationship with you, Lord. Oh, God, that you would send out workers into that harvest field. God, we pray for souls, Lord. This fall, God, I pray for thousands and thousands and thousands of people to know you, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, give God praise right there where you are if you believe he's going to do it. Come on, give him a mighty praise if you think he's going to do it. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, we call it in Jesus' name. Let's pray for our family. 
families. God, we just pray for our lives, our families. God, the things that are happening inside of us, in our bodies, in our minds, in our marriages, God, our emotions, our finances. Lord, we just lift up every care to you. And on day two, this very first day of the prayer services, God, we cast all our cares on you, knowing that you care for us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Come on, just release anything that's been weighing you down. God, in Jesus' name, I'm praying, Father, for blessing, influence, presence, and protection. God, I'm praying that you're going to free us from habitual sin, God. Lord, you're going to restore everything the enemy has stolen, God. I pray for emotional healing, Lord. I fight for our families today, God, that you're going to rescue our kids, God. And even as they go back to school, Lord God, you're going to protect them and strengthen them in Jesus' name. I pray, God, for supernatural wisdom over our lives, God, for physical health and healing, Lord God. We believe for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that you're, you're bringing a healing on our families, Lord. Why well, break the spirit of divorce, God, of our, of our marriages, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. And Father, we finally pray for our church. Come on, let's just lift up highlands, God. All of our leaders, God, our overseers, our trustees, God, our elders, Lord, we lift them up to you, our staff, our dream team, every small group leader, Lord God. God, you're helping us, Lord, this year, Lord, in a mighty way to do what you've called us to do, God, for the prison ministries, God, and for all the efforts that we do in this world, Lord God, for our Highlands College children's ministry, student ministry, Lord God, dream centers, Lord, every place, Lord God, where you've called us to serve, God. Let your anointing be on our lives, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise your name, Lord God. Do you believe in church? I said, do you believe in church? Come on, sing it. All the earth. Oh, and all the earth will shout your Before you go today uh, you can keep all of the resources just return the prayer request cards because we'll pray for those all, all week long come on open your hands before the Lord God we just give you our day and our week as we start this week God, let all that we do glorify your mighty name Lord and for every appointment and every email every text every conversation God let us just be ambassadors of the Most High God Lord we're asking for your presence to go with us God Lord God we pray for the peace of God in the middle of a chaotic world Lord, that we carry your presence and your anointing, God. And in everything that we do, Lord, let us bring glory and honor to your name. Bless these amazing people, God, in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.